Welcome to Make a Path Presents, I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today in the review room we're going to take a look at Skybound's Mega Box. <laughs> I went to the post office to pick up the Mega Box, and I'm thinking, you know, Mega Box. And then they went and hand me this little box, I'm like, oh, that's so cute. Where's the rest of it, lady? <laughs> I don't care what, you know, size the box is, as long as it's full of awesome goodness. With that said, if you're new to the Mega Box, the uh, company Skybound, that brings us The Walking Dead and a couple other cool franchises, including Outcast as well. They are going to do a quarterly subscription service where they send you a bunch of surprise goodies inside a box. I think the next one comes out in March. So if you want the information for Skybound, the Mega Box, I will put all the links down below. We're going to do this video a little bit different because there's a lot of fans who are disappointed in this. And you guys know, when it comes to Skybound, I am usually like man i think they should make the figures with the heads on poles seven months later they're revealing that they're coming out with the figures with heads on poles so that is why i'm always or seemingly excited or delighted when i'm talking about skybound as far as the collectibles or you know entertainment they're coming out with because we're like on the same page with a lot of stuff so obviously i'm gonna love their ideas since i said months ago i wish they would come out with it like a subscription box i think a year and a half ago I said they should do this and I even said to make it quarterly they didn't have to do a monthly box they're doing it which is starting to creep me out just kidding <laughs> just coincidence anyway with that being said this is a Negan theme at first I thought it was advertised unless I read it wrong I thought it was advertised as a Walking Dead theme I think this is on the right track Negan theme, Rick theme, Michonne thing. Also, switch it up a little bit. Do an outcast theme. Uh, poll your uh, subscribers. You get yearly. They want you to do a yearly subscription. Poll them. Ask them what franchises they like. See where the majority of your fans' interests lie. Definitely do that. With that being said, this brings up a good point. Because of the division in the fandom, and because I love Skybound so much, they don't sponsor me. They don't pay me to say that. They don't sleep with me to say that. They didn't even give me the damn box. <laughs> I say this as an honest fan, and this is honest shit in this video. This video is as honest as it's going to get. We're going to do this video a little different. I'm going to quickly shut up and get right into this box so you can see what's inside it. Then those who don't care about what happens next can leave. Those who do want to look at this from a business standpoint and from a fan standpoint and maybe some tips like business tips on decisions I think were uh, bad decisions to make, decisions I think were good decisions to make, and you can pull from it what you want and you can also leave your thoughts and opinions about what you thought of the box, what you thought of Skybound's decisions with the box, and what they have done business-wise as far as their collectibles because like I always say, this is the perfect platform for businesses to see what their consumers want what their supporters want from the merchandise it's too perfect to just oh uh, they're just mad fans you know what i mean so with that said let's just dive in and take a look first thing first epic box and later to give you an example of some of the uh ideas and tips i will be discussing afterwards one big tip this is an awesome box. Some fans are definitely going to love this image and want to display this, but their box will be destroyed. A quick, simple solution that will actually increase the value of the box would be to put a very cheap photo stock inside within maybe like a plastic sleeve and make it look nice, you know, but go for the cheap because you don't need nothing fantastic. You don't need nothing signed, no famous artist. Put that in the box of the image that's on the box. So, for example, you would open this up and you would have a Negan picture in a plastic sleeve that you can hang up on the wall. Boom. Cheap, easy, simple solution that adds value to the box. Now, you open it up. You see a t-shirt. Card falls out with the Mega Box introduction on this side. Uh, social media info on this side. I will leave the social media stuff down below. We're going to pull the first thing. It's going to be a Lucille keychain. These come from the blind bags. This will be an interesting discussion in a minute because I disagreed with these and I think there's a way they can salvage if the sales are looking bad. I think we have an idea how to pick up sales with the Lucille keychain. Next, we got Super Fight, a little mini Negan deck. I am not into these card games. I see a lot of fans who are. I would actually like to uh, get wasted and play this to see because some I've seen some and it looks like uh, they have fun time goofing around. So otherwise, I've never done card games like that, so I have no idea what uh, they're about. With that said, the pins pins are becoming extremely common and popular, 
and I love this. Take it like a champ. And these pins are also sold on their website, skybound.com or shop.thewalkingdead.com. The shirt, we got a red one. And we get Savior's Ping Pong Club on it with barbed wire on the ping pong, uh, ping pong, pa, 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 the paddles, that's a nice touch, and the Walking Dead on the back. And then we got this card, a little uh, insert, like an advertisement for the Walking Dead board game. I did review this, fantastic quality, by the way, and I do, over the break, I do want to uh, do a video coming out about learning how to play that. I think that would be fun. And then right here is the figure. This is a solid black Negan figure. Uh, right here, booyah, he's all black. You can either get the all black or the blood splatter. It's a decision I really wish they did not make, and I will explain why that's an important decision as soon as we show off the final item. Boom! One of the best items by far. A variant cover to The Walking Dead issue 100. This is awesome. I think the issue 100 had like nine variant covers or something like that. So this adds. If you're a completist, you definitely need this to add it to the collection. Now with that said, I love the fact that this is plain tape. Uh, you can see that mine down here is ripped up. So I can simply switch the plastics and it's just like new. If they sealed it some type of way, I would have to keep this all ripped up down there, you know? So that's a bonus. Another bonus, the Mega Box is real small. When you have a company like Mega Box, and you know what? I should warn you, we're gonna go into the tip side of it now and discuss pros and cons as far as from a fan aspect and also from a business aspect because if you make the fans happy, you make more money. That's kind of what we're doing as far as the tips and uh, criticisms coming up and we're diving into that now. So that was the last item in the box. If you don't want to hear us, you know, if you're not a hardcore collector, if you're not interested in the tips, leave now. Don't forget to smash that like button like Lucille smashing the O. All right, so diving into this, when you have a company like Megabox or Loot Crate Horror Block, anything like that, you don't want to overdo it with the logo. Listen, fans love the subscription box, but when they're collecting certain things, they hate you know the fact that the logos are so massive so you don't want to do that I think this was very smart and clever here almost no complaints they picked a great cover and a great issue if this is a Walking Dead slash Negan theme issue 100 without a doubt is a no-brainer so that is awesome now let's move over to the figure Robert Kirkman did a video where he opened up a mega box and the video was fine it's great the guy cracks me up he always seems like uh, someone puts a gun to his head and he's so disinterested in everything <laughs> I love <laughs> uh, and he's such a smart ass too. I love that. You get the all black Negan. Now something interesting he said in that video where he said, hey, we have another version in the box that's randomly thrown around where it has a blood splatter on it. As soon as he said that, and then he said, blood splatter, that's cool, right? And I don't think he meant anything intentional. It's just something you say when you're doing the, uh, the unboxing, you know? I think that was actually the bad call. Uh, fans who likely got this wanted it to complete their Negan collection. I have an entire Negan collection in the corner here as a Walking Dead fan. Rick is one of my favorite characters. Negan's my all-time favorite villain. And I absolutely love collecting for Lucille and Negan. With that said, I was very proud of the fact that I had a complete Negan 5-inch figure set. 2013 came out with Color Negan, black and white blood splatter, bought them both, single carded. This year they came out with the same Negan, now it's black and white clean and color blood splatter, so the reverse. Plus it came in a Negan 2-pack set with Glenn and the smashed in head. So now I have a color Negan, a color bloody Negan, a black and white Negan, and a black and white bloody Negan. So there's four different versions of Negan, and I have every one that they came out with so far in the set like a lot of other fans. They come out with another version of Negan, and a lot of fans bought this box just to keep a complete collection for the Negan figure. There's something satisfying for a fan to have that complete part of the collection. And then they find out through pictures on social media, there's a different version. And that is a big deal to some fans out there. You no, know, having the bloody version, they got now got to hunt for it. Me, I need to hunt for the bloody. Someone who has the bloody has to hunt for the black or white. So I think that's a negative. You know, here's the thing. If they wanted to do a Negan figure and they wanted to do a simple box, I, I think this box, right, would have been a lot better if they did the white barbed wire. But here's an idea. What if you would have just scrapped this idea of Negan altogether and do the prisoner Negan? You have this box 
make the box the jail cell. So that way you could put reprint Prisoner Negan in black and white. We got a full color Prison Negan, Prisoner Negan, reprint uh, Prisoner Negan, put him in the box like this, you know, with a display window with jail cell bars and you can have an exclusive, very valuable, you know, this is something that fans would have bought and double the boxes for. The boxes would have probably exploded. Maybe I'm over-hyping it, but you guys let me know if you like this idea. Uh, the prison would be the cell. You, ha you need to be able to see in it to see Negan, who's in his, uh, you know, setup, in his uh, wardrobe. And then it comes with the ship bucket and possibly, possibly, if you can do it, a variant clean cut head where he shaves and he got his hair cut and then you can have the option to have the cell open uh, and then pop his head on as if uh, you're mimicking the cover from 141 something like that that is an idea that would have taken a little bit more work because right now you just have a black box with some barbed wire you would have had to design and print out cut up a box i don't know if money wise if that is feasible that's also an option to do for the future but i'm just saying that is an idea where you could have taken a mold you made already this year and just did it in black and white with a box that represented a jail cell. Now, if you needed to go this route with this Negan, then okay, there's nothing we can do about it, but maybe jazz up the box a little bit. Take them out of that McDonald's. I see that everywhere. It's a happy toy. Yeah, it looks cheap. Take them out of this ordeal. Maybe this is like a throwback to when you got the Star Wars figures in the mail. Maybe that's the idea, but I don't know. There's a lot of fans who would have preferred something a little more interesting so they can put it up collectible wise now that's my thoughts and opinions not only that every time we see images of the prototypes of the figures coming out they look like this so a lot of fans see this and they see skybound go and this is their i'm telling you their honest opinion what they're saying on social uh social media and it's hard to combat the criticism when it looks like they said okay we were going to print out a bunch of the uh prototypes because we were running the negans for the the two pack the remakes we just made a whole bunch of extras and now we're going to put those 200 300 extras into subscription boxes you know what i mean uh so that's why a lot of fans are looking at this like Ugh. And they know it came from the remake because there's no iron. The original had an iron. I don't know if that matters, but that's what a lot of fans are saying. When it comes to the Super Fight deck, you're going to have to... I am completely inexperienced with this stuff. If you are into that, you're going to have to leave your thoughts and opinions down below on if that's a pro or a negative. I think the pin is a positive. I'm glad it's not from uh, like a Mega Box exclusive. I like that it's something that came from the conventions. The bats... Blind bags work because there's a lot of different possibilities of things you can get, and they're cheaper. I believe blind bags are only like $6. Sometimes the really expensive ones are $8. I've seen some for $13, but they never sell. I've seen Ninja Turtle ones that are like uh, $13 or whatever, and they're always stocked at the stores. They don't ever sell. Blind bag is a kid gimmick. Kids are happy opening up surprise stuff. It spills over into adult stuff, absolutely, like the figurines and stuff like that, but multiple options. When it comes to Lucille, there's just way too many. I think there's eight, and then eight blood splatter ones, so you'd need 16 to have every single different version. I am a big-time Lucille uh, collector, so I would, over time, love to get every different version, but I can't, not with a blind bag, not with $10.00 because even one duplicate is that's like ouch that's ten dollars for just you know ouch what if you get multiple duplicates next thing you know you're spending a shit ton of money uh, for something you could have just bought straight up for 160 bucks have every single 16 different version of lucille and i do believe that's something you, you companies more should look at where you say you know what if you're a serious collector and you want the complete collection maybe you buy the whole box no duplicates boom one box do a really cool collector's outside box so they don't even got to open it if they're an inbox collector they get a special and then it's a different version now the outside box mind you uh, maybe you just put in a different type of sticker on it identifying that this is a complete no duplicate set yada 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 those go to the series collectors that buy it all at once or maybe you want to give an option for collectors to buy it in pieces to help sell them different style box i don't know something i feel like that would actually work really well for lucille's i always felt the the blind bag idea for lucille's that was definitely wrong from the jump 
Now, if I'm wrong about that, and if they sold like crazy, then okay, that was, yeah, my bad. That was a total mistake on my part. But when they first revealed that as blind bags, I just saw that uh, was incredibly problematic for the product that it actually is. So seeing it in the box leads me to believe it didn't sell as well as they wanted it to or expected it to. With that being said, the final topic is the shirt. You have a shirt that is cool. I mean, I guess I'm indifferent on. Is that is that the right way to put it? I really love the uh, material because it's not just a flat, you know, red shirt. It actually has little hints of uh, black material in there. It's really fine, you know, uh, but it's a really nice quality. I like it. It feels like a quality shirt. Here's the thing with the image. I love how it connects to the comic book. I love how there's barbed wire on the ping pong bats. But if you said, hey, Ronnie, you want the ping pong shirt or do you want a shirt with Negan? Do you want a shirt with Rick? Do you want a random, cool, gory looking walker? Do you want just a black and white, you know, walker with white eyes, some kind of plain, just Charlie Adler's art on the t-shirt? I would have picked all those different options before this one. With that said, I still like this, the color, the designs. I'd still throw this on. As a matter of fact, I might throw it on today. You know what I mean? So that's where I stand with the shirt. I have never understood why companies pick these sort of designs before they would pick something, uh, you know, like a gnarly walker or one of the main characters like Negan himself. Because you have to understand when you're putting together these subscription boxes, it's the, the gimmick is the one item. You get that one item that is the home run. And then if that's not the home run, or if you have a box that collectively there's some weak points to it, like we noticed all the weak points here that other fans are talking about, you need to make sure the shirt is on point. So that's why I'm a little surprised they didn't go with a shirt that was definitely a home run right from the gate because you have these other weak areas where I think the comic is probably the one item that nobody is complaining about. I think the comic is almost damn near perfect when it comes to the other items. There's definitely weak areas. I feel like collectively the shirt should have been a home run. They probably should have saved this design for uh, something else. All right, that's about all I got to say about this box. I hope this video wasn't overly negative, but it's hard to say what the future of the Mega Box is going to be like. I think it's definitely going to continue to a second and third box, most likely. Uh, I've seen a lot worse first boxes, and those companies have gone on to make additional boxes after that. So I could definitely see this being a thing. I will have to admit that I hope to see... Um, and I don't want to make this sound the way it sounds, but I hope to see something that resembles just a little more effort. That sounds real shitty, but I don't mean it to sound like that. Like, we have items in the box that do look like just items that didn't sell fully at conventions. It, we have items here that uh, looks like they just quickly, you know, popped out a few Negans, tossed it in a plain black box, like there's no coloring even. And this looks like an item where you justify not doing the work by calling it a Black Friday variant. Like, oh look, it's Black Friday variant, we don't have to put any color on the box and it's just plain black. And I'm not saying there wasn't no effort, I'm not saying fans didn't come together, uh, or this isn't a good idea all around, yada yada yada. I think it's heading in the right direction, but I think some fans, it's getting to the point, especially with subscription boxes, you know, you're going under a microscope the way it is because subscription boxes before you have, for the most part, have been such shit. There's a lot of them that are such shit. Immediately as soon as you say subscription boxes, you gotta show up with the first box and be like, boom, now what, bitches? You you know what I mean? So, and I feel like there's some cool stuff in here, but Skybound didn't do that. They didn't show up and say, yeah, we were, we were bringing the fire. You know, they showed up and said, you know, we might need your help getting this going. So please support this box. But we promise you there is potential in the future. That's, yeah, that's how I really feel. And I do feel like this. I do feel like if this is successful for Skybound, we will get some really incredible future boxes. Absolutely. But I just feel like uh, maybe it's because they are a newer company, they are a smaller company, they just might need that help to get there. So uh, fans supporting this box and fans who are going to continue to support this box, uh, maybe it will just grow and keep getting better and we'll have more fans joining up. So it all depends. But with that said, you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions about the very first mega box from Skybound. Put them all in the uh, comment section down below. I'm done talking. It's your turn. Subscribe now.